Welcome, and thank you for joining for another whiskey review. Today, we have the E.H. Taylor Single Barrel, 50% ABV bottle in bond. Dustin. Yep. Bourbon. Tell me Your about favorite. it. Your favorite. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, as you guys know, E.H. Taylor, it's uh, the Mashville One from Buffalo Trace. They, uh, they have the small batch, the single barrel, the barrel proof. And then the unicorn bottles they put out there just to piss off everybody in the bourbon world, I, I think. That's my guess. Uh, this particular one is a store pick. Uh, as I kind of have told you guys in the past, for me, these harder to get bottles, I tend to have better chances of getting a single barrel uh, from a pick because the, the store got, you know, 100 bottles versus they got two cases. And the two cases go in three seconds. So this one I uh, got lucky, won a lottery, and was able to pick it up. So I figured we'd bring it to you guys. Uh, these tend to be, Mike, closer to the 10, 11-year range is mm -hmm. generally what they say. But mm -hmm. all we can really say is this bottle and bond <clears throat> is at least four years old. All right, buddy. Let's get to it. One of our good buddies loves. A couple of our buddies love these. Yeah, all of them. <clears throat> Apples, sour oak, some uh, barnyard funk. And baby powder. <laughs> talcum powder yeah <clears throat> um, a little bit of spice light kind of yeah it's got that classic buffalo trace oak which I always like but I like it when it gets a little older than this and it's kind of I like to think of it as a, this light really rich oak tree kind of note um, it's not too bitter but it, it's like starting to get there <clears throat> it's not too soft but it's uh, you know it's like a French oak when it was five years old. Yeah, it feels very porous. Yeah. Soft wood. It's like an old oak tree, but it's not a it's not an exceptional oak either. It's just very nice. And it's kind of sweeter oak. That apple's huge on here though. Yeah, sour apple is a solid way to yeah. describe this from a Granny Smith apple yeah, or yeah. something like that. Now a little bit of caramel maybe coming in. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's in there. It's it's thin though. Very thin. Everything about this is thin and porous. Definitely doesn't come off uh, 50%. Uh, definitely, you'd think this is lower. Um, you'd almost think you've already added water to it. In fact, that's exactly what this nose is like. It's mm -hmm. like a, mm -hmm. it's a bourbon you've already added water to and maybe put a little too much, which is weird because it's 50%. That should not be the case. <clears throat> Actually, on the palate, the oak note's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. I do like that about it. I do like about it is how quickly it dissipates and then the finish just, you know, fades away real quick. But, I mean, I mean again, nice little oak note on the palate. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of caramel sweetness. A little bit of that, little bit of that slight sour apple note. Mm -hmm. That's about it, man. That's what I got. What do you, what do you got to add to that? I think you nailed it. Um, I will say this. Uh, whereas it tastes like they put too much water in on the, or sorry, smells like too much water. Yeah, on the palate, it's fine. Yeah. It's got enough. It's got a nice little bit of spice to it. The oak is, like you said, a little bit better here. Um, does all those things pretty well. Um, it's actually, it's kind of heavily spicy uh, for a Buffalo Trace product. It is spicy. Um, yeah. You know, uh, the H. Taylor to me always has come off as having this lighter, thinner, more porous Buffalo Trace oak note, whereas Eagle Rare to me has like a darker one. Um, H. Taylor is always a little bit more apple, whereas um, Eagle Rare is a little more cherry. And for me, I like the cherry notes when they come through on the Buffalo Trace with that oak. This is classic, very in line with what E.H. Taylor does. But for my money, I'm buying the small batch. It's cheaper. I know it's hard to get, but it's easier to get than these single barrels. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just don't think you're getting anything extra here. A little more uh, intensity, a little more oak. A um, little bit more... Just a, it's 5% it's, it's, it's better at everything. <laughs> I haven't had enough to give that type of equation. I'll say this. These things are easy drinking. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing really overly offensive. You know, we're looking at it from a whiskey connoisseur's or a reviewer's standpoint, mm -hmm. right? But if you're just someone that, you know, likes Buffalo Trace's profile in general, mm -hmm. just want to sit down, easy drinking whiskey, nothing overly offensive or going anywhere, this is a good whiskey. Yeah. It's just not exciting on any level. I mean, this to me it would be a perfect whiskey that you could... Uh... Mix a really nice cocktail with. 
or have meat or have with a couple rocks. Like it's a very versatile whiskey. They price these now, they're around 70, 80 bucks. So they're getting a little too pricey for that to be the right niche for them. And I know mm -hmm. anybody who's watching is gonna go, last time I saw one, it was $300. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah, um, sadly. Yeah, so if you're, if you're paying those kind of prices, obviously you can't use it for that. And it's good, it's nice, it's pleasant. But there's not a lot of uh, oomph. This is, like you said, a this would be like a daily sipper, something you'd want to have around just to drink and not think about. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, it's gotten hard to get. Yeah, it has its place. It just it does have its place as far as something being sought after. Yeah, I don't understand you know the, I mean? the hype to chase these. Other than it is a really nice bottle. Well, I mean, you know, it's heavy. Taste is subjective. It's got a nice heavy bottle feel. I love the label. It's beautiful. Uh, but... It, it, there's nothing wow here. Agreed. It's just well done. Yeah, and just with water, it's more the same. It's kind of, you know, spreads out an already thin nose as it, to begin with. Uh, you know, I don't think it really did much for me. It's, uh, it's pretty much the same whiskey. Mm -hmm. No, I said it, yeah, pretty much it remained consistent. Getting you know, like a bit of a corn uh, nuttiness. Yeah, I would say more of a husk. So silky yeah, husk yeah. note to it. You're right. I don't water. think Jim Beam peanuts or something like that. Nothing like that. Just kind of like a corn husk, a little bit of corn nut, you know, just kind of a something there showed up. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Dustin, where are you as far as a whiskey score on this one, my friend? Yeah, I think I've been a little harsh on some of the Buffalo Trace products. Mm -hmm. um, we have. And, At least comparatively. But I think in, on this one, in words, I can tell you right now, Lot B has flaws. I can tell you the Weller Foolproof has flaws. This one really doesn't have any flaws, so I'm going to give it an 85. I think it's just a really decent run-of-the-mill whiskey that does everything really well. 85 seems about right. Yeah, I was an 83, 84. I, you okay. know, I'll be generous and say 84. Um, I like a lot of those. It's an easy-drinking whiskey. The only thing I don't like as far as the nose is a little bit of that sour note, but mm -hmm. I tell you what, a few drops of water kind of does dissipate that to some degree. Other than that, it does a couple things that are nice. I like the little apple note on it. Again, it really just isn't interesting enough to really be harsh on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, you know, something to be said for something that's still a good ABV, fifty percent. That's this easy drinking. Yeah, you know, it's a consistent, 84. regular, everyday pour that I think you're just never going to be disappointed by it unless you paid big bucks for it. Agreed. Well, unless you're not planning on opening, just looking at the bottle or whatever you plan to do. Hey, you know what? I'm it's a, a pretty bottle. Why not? Yeah, I'm a drinker. Anyway, those are our thoughts on the whiskey. Um, you guys had a chance to try one of these. Let us know what you think, or if you have anything close to this profile, which I think is pretty consistent anyway with, yeah. with a standard core product. Let us know what you think in general. Dustin, until next time, what do we wish the folks? Happy drinking. We'll see you then. If this stuff even fits. Oh, so she knows my size. Large. You're just a large? No, I'm probably an extra large or two X large, but I always get large. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Like, these are two, these are extra large, but this t-shirt, okay. always large. <laughs> No, you can get it. Surprised those don't end up being a little, a little too belly revealing. <coughs> Go fuck yourself, Dustin. <laughs>